Now to an update on the mess in Oregon's foster care system. For five years, a lawsuit has been playing out trying to get better care for the thousands of kids there. Some reported abuse at the hands of their foster parents. Others were housed in hotels, offices, even refurbished jails and at times sent out of state. Well, the lawsuit claimed that many of them were not getting their basic needs met. Now the state has reached a settlement with the advocacy groups and the foster kids who sued. Going forward, Oregon's Department of Human so Resources will need to make measurement improve immeasurable improvements and they'll have a neutral expert watching over them and providing guidance, making sure those changes are made. Okay, let's get into the details by taking a look at the original lawsuit. It was filed in 2019 against the state of Oregon's Department of Human Services, the advocacy groups Disability Rights Oregon and a national foster care advocacy group called A Better Childhood represented the plaintiffs. The suit actually had 10 named plaintiffs who spent time in Oregon's foster care system, but it became a class action lawsuit on behalf of all the kids in the system. The suit argues, Oregon irregularly and infrequently assesses the needs of children in the foster care system with the result that the child's medical, mental health and social needs often remain unknown and unmet. It is time that Oregon is held accountable. Also, after more than a decade of reports, audits and reviews exhaustively documenting these problems, DHS has failed to adequately redress the worsening conditions for foster children. The plaintiffs also argued that Oregon failed to protect kids from abuse, had too high of a rate of re-entry into the system, also didn't make case plans for kids in time, didn't place them in appropriate homes, and didn't adequately assess their health needs. Here's Emily Cooper, the legal director for Disability Rights Oregon. The starkest example I can give is when Wyatt and Noah went to live with their resource family, the right information wasn't shared about which child had a heart condition and which child needed the medication. And what ended up happening is the wrong child got the heart medication. And so it could have hurt both babies forever. Hmm. Cooper says along with not getting basic needs met, a fundamental part of the case was addressing the allegations of abuse against kids in the system. The legal term for it is maltreatment. You and I's word for it is kids getting hurt after they enter care. It shouldn't happen. And in Oregon, the, the rate of kids getting hurt after they enter care is double what the federal standard is. That is, that is not what should happen. We are removing children from their parents and their families because of allegations of abuse, and then they're getting hurt again when they enter the system. And our number one settlement term, the very first thing we list, is that, that the number of kids getting hurt once they enter care has got to go down. The plaintiff's attorneys in the case say they're cautiously optimistic now about the settlement. The parties will agree on the appointment of that neutral expert and their first report is due next spring. Here's Marsha Lowry with the national organization A Better Childhood. We are hopeful that the state is committed to making the progress it needs. Um, and if they don't, and we hope they will, if they don't, there will be consequences and they ultimately could be held in contempt by the court. We hope it doesn't get to that. Um, and we hope that the neutral will be able to work with the state and the state will be cooperative. We have no reason to think they won't be, um, but there are consequences. And that's a very, very important element of the settlement because uh, there's no accountability right now if the state does a poor job there will be accountability under this settlement agreement. Now for its part, the director of Oregon's Department of Human Services said in a statement, we are grateful for the willingness of all involved in this litigation to come together to find ways to achieve our mutual goal of improving outcomes for Oregon children and families.